Hey guys, after a long eight months, Google finally did it. Today, Google is dropping Gemini 3 Pro and they did not disappoint. This new model is an absolute beast. So in today's video, I wanna break down everything that you guys need to know about this new model, such as how does it compare against today's best models like ChatGPT 5.1 and Cursor 4.5? How much does it cost? Is it actually any good at coding? Should you make the switch? Don't worry, I'm gonna break everything down for you in today's video. And I also have a bunch of really cool demos so you can see all of these different AI models side by side so you can see for yourself which model you like the best. And I'm also just gonna go ahead and say it, one of these demos actually broke my brain. I know these models are getting infinitely more smart. However, there are certain demos that I didn't even think AI, it was possible for them to do, and it just did it. So I'm so excited for you to see these in action. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and dive into the video. And also, quick thank you to Google for providing me early access to this model so that I could stress test it all weekend long for you guys. So once again, thank you guys. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into the video. All right, guys, so let's dive into some of the hard stats for Gemini 3 Pro and see how it stacks up against some of the biggest AI models out there right now. And we'll speed through this because obviously these numbers aren't that fun. But let's dive into the big three things that you need to know about. So first things first, this is truly the smartest model that I have ever talked to and worked with. And it clearly shows whenever you start to actually compare stats side by side, some of the most important things that you'll notice about this model is that it's number one on LLM arena. So this is where developers and you know just everyday users are comparing models side by side for coding tasks, writing tasks, and everything. And they are clearly voting Gemini 3 Pro as the number one by a big margin, to be honest. Everything else is kind of a neck and neck. So huge win on that one. One of the next things that you'll notice is that there is a extremely hard test that covers every topic from philosophy, engineering, science, like medical, it touches everything. And it scored an absolute, I guess it was using tools. So humanity's last exam, it absolutely crushed it. And the only thing it was losing to is Grok 4. However, the way that these, you know, Grok versus Gemini actually compete, Grok 4 Heavy actually spins up like multiple, multiple, multiple models and they all compete. So I would be very curious if we could peek behind the curtain how much it costs for Grok and how much it costs for Gemini to get these results. I would love to actually see some of those numbers if they ever share it. So here's a few other things that you need to know about how smart these models are when it comes to just like all things reasoning and just intelligence, you know, this, they're, they're one of the best. I mean, Grok and Gemini, when it comes to just all around thinking, they dominate. Math, I mean, at this point, all these models have pretty much perfected math. You're gonna see this later on too, when we actually test some demos. I mean, they're doing calculus three. It's gonna blow your mind when you see it. Now, next, when it comes to actually coding, these models are all kind of neck and neck. And the right now it shows Claude Sonnet 4.5 as the winner. However, whenever, if you go look, a lot of independently verified results say that this result is closer to 69 point something percent. So, you know, it really is tied for best as an actual coding agent. And you'll see it later on when it's off to its races, actually building things, it crushes it. Super excited for you guys to see that. Now, what else do we got going on? So this model, not only is it very smart, it is insanely perceptive to images, videos, and everything else. It, it has one of the highest scores for basically giving it images and videos and asking it to understand what happened in the video. So the term MMU basically stands for Massive Multidiscipline Multimodal Understanding. So like I said, give it any input, no matter what, and this thing understands exactly what it's going on. So I think like just to understand the full array of how visually intelligent this model is, uh, according to their docs, you can pass in a video of you playing pickleball and it will tell you exactly, hey, here's what it looks like you're doing wrong in your game and I recommend you doing this. That's crazy, it can watch gameplay and provide feedback. Now on the other side, outside of just like recreational sports, this model is also an absolute beast at analyzing engineering diagrams. You could give it thermodynamics, electronics, you could give it anything, and this model is taking it in, understanding the core problem it's trying to solve, and, and actually providing coding solutions. So it can, it's very multidisciplinarian to where you can pass in, you know, basically any discipline, it will understand it, and then actually understand how to implement a coding solution. We have two, multiple demos of this later on, super excited for you guys to see when we actually push this to the test how well it does and you know google has a few cool demos on this to where basically you can if you ever want to learn about something 
you can pass it in a cool picture of something. And then you're like, hey, can you make me a cool animated demonstration of how this works so I can understand the fundamentals? And it will actually create a small web app that you can turn whatever your image into an interactive lesson for you to learn. I mean, it's it's crazy what this, what this model can do. And then finally, the final big three that I want to talk about, and this one is 100% subject to change. I think we'll know more as soon as it goes officially live. From what my understanding is, right now, the pricing and context window are the exact same as Gemini 2.5 Pro, except now we're on Gemini 3 Pro. So this is what you would most likely expect to see when it comes to pricing, where the input and output pricing are honestly super affordable compared to all the other models out there right now. Let me actually quickly just check to get some numbers compared to Claude 4, Sauna, and GPT, just so that we're on the same page. All right, so after a little bit more digging, yeah, it turns out Gemini 3 Pro and GPT 5.1 are neck and neck, basically charging the exact same for input and output. Obviously, this is whenever you are under that 200,000 token limit on Gemini 3, but you have the ability to go over and closer to 1 million tokens with Gemini 3 Pro, which is a huge unfair advantage when you're actually working with large contexts or big databases or big applications. And on the other side, flip side, we have the Claude models and Grok models, which are pricier. And what's crazy is in the past, you used to have to trade off for like, oh, I'll pay more for higher coding capabilities and higher reasoning capabilities, which was the trade off. But now Google is saying, no, I'm going to match you on those and I'm going to charge less, which is crazy. Like it is a very competitive landscape out there. So let's with that out of the way, now that we've covered the super high level overview of how these models stack up, what I want to do now is actually dive over into some demos, which are genuinely going to blow your brains with how much the capabilities of these models is. It's just insane. I'm lost for words. So let's go ahead and hop over to the demos. All right, guys. So now it's time to see what Gemini 3 Pro is fully capable of. And the best place to try this out is to hop over to Google AI Studio, where you can just quickly describe the idea you want to bring to life and have Gemini 3 build it for you. And heck, if you're not feeling creative, click I'm feeling lucky, and it will actually come up with cool ideas for you. But with that out of the way, let's actually dive into a few of the different apps that I've built so you guys can see just how powerful this model is. And what I want to do is just show the demo and explain briefly like why this is such an insanely powerful tool. So first, let's hop over to the first demo, which is a flight simulator where you're seeing how we are coding up an application where planes have to fly perfectly parallel to the surface of the earth. So over here on the left, we have Gemini 3 Pro, where you can see it actually did it. We have planes flying all over the earth. We can speed things up and you can see these planes zipping around. Over here on the right though, you can see the exact same prompt over in Gemini 2.5 Pro and it basically just completely missed the mark. So first off, Gemini 3 actually crushed this. Now, what I want to dive into is some of the code and explain why this is such a hard problem and give you some context because this example is the example that just, it broke my brain and I was like, all right, I give up. AI, it wins. So here's what I mean. When I started off my first engineering job at GTRI, I was given a task to build this type of application. And the reason why this is so hard is because to fully build this out, you have to understand, you know, the way planes work. You have to understand calculus three because you have to basically make it to where planes can fly tangentially to a curved surface and all around. It is a like master's level problem. It took me two months to build out a very, very, very identical demo to this. And whenever I gave a two paragraph prompt to Gemini 3 Pro, I was like, hey, here's what you need to solve. And which is basically like build this type of application where it must fly perfectly parallel to the curved earth and don't drift. That's the hard part. And, and then literally two minutes later, Gemini goes, oh yeah, of course, I'll build it for you and cranked out this application right here. And if you go, I mean, if we actually like dive into like how the actual code works and like some of the math behind it, like you can see, like we're doing vectors, we're doing like it, the math behind this, I blacked out, I forgot about this math. I thought I would never have to touch it again, but Gemini 3 can do it insanely in two minutes. So I just went like, the second I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the most powerful model I've ever seen. I tried to recreate this with Claude 4.5 and GPT in different agent building platforms, like just on my local computer. And pretty much everyone else was doing something similar to this. Gemini 3 Pro is the only model I was able to generate that could actually solve the problem in a single 
single shot. That's the crazy part. This was one shot. So I uh, hope your brain's freaking out like mine was. And now what I want to do is hop over to a few more cooler interactive demos that Gemini 3 Pro was able to knock out as well. So welcome to demo number two, where we are going to stress test the model's ability to visually understand and reason through just random drawings of radio circuits to say, hey, can you please generate an interactive UI where you teach me about how this circuit works and if you could actually make it to where our circuit plays some noise as this radio receives a signal. So I was confident that it would struggle with this one because this is a very hard task. But unfortunately, and well, I mean, I guess it is fortunately, it crushed it. So you can see that Gemini 3 directly copied this exact circuit that we saw over here verbatim. Everything about this, it visually understood everything about it. Not only did it understand what it saw in the paper, but it could reason through how this circuit works. It understands that it's a radio and what's insane about it, I mean, it did it in a single shot once again, which is the craziest part, but it actually made a really cool interactive demo to where we could click through. We can actually learn about how each one of these different components work, what it is, how it works and connects to everything else and how these transistors work. Like this is just crazy that it can reason through everything and do all this in a single shot. So outside of that, I also want to show you how it can actually, we can actually play with this circuit to learn about tuning frequencies, and how we can play with feedback and volume, like all the core components of electrical engineering, which I swear I did know at one point, but I forgot. Please don't tell my college professors. So let's actually turn it on so you guys can listen to it and you'll hear how we're not tracking the signal. And by tuning the knobs and adjusting this circuit, we can actually listen to the radio. In this case, just some like a signal. You'll hear it. So let's go for it. Okay, so we are on, you can see it's yellow. So now we're gonna change the feedback. So yeah, we've actually locked onto the signal and on outside of that, we can actually change volume as well if we want, which is gain. So you can see we can turn it down, we can turn it up. Yeah, that's insane guys. The fact that we built a radio, sorry, Gemini 3 Pro built a radio from a picture, that's just, uh, crazy. So I hope you guys are getting excited just like I am. So enough with the science stuff. What we're going to do next is go show a really cool video of and demo of this actually building out beautiful games as well. So let's go ahead and hop over to demo number three. So here is demo number three. I've officially created a game I can't beat. <laughs> I'm awful at it, to be honest. So let me show you the game and I'll quickly show you what uh, I did to make it. So first things first, you can see we're basically playing like a, I mean, I'm bad at this, but you can see we're basically having cubes to where we're having to like jump through a, a minefield and we're trying to collect points and we have moving parts to where we can actually, you know, make the game as, as difficult as possible. Uh, but basically that is the game in a nutshell and it was insanely easy to make. So you can see we have a, you know, a little bit more of a beefy prompt this time where we're basically saying, hey, your job is to make a single page website where we basically are a combination of Temple Run and Minecraft and Tron. And this type of game, you know, all I did was I passed to Gemini. I want to make a combination of these three games and go off and build it and give me instructions that I can pass to an AI agent. So I'm using AI to create props for AI and it absolutely crushed it. And what was pretty funny is it actually, you know, crushed it right out the gate. And I had to tell it like, hey, can you make it a little bit harder? Cause this is too easy to actually work on. So it went through and was like, yeah, of course I can make it harder. And then I just add, kept tweaking it. I'm like, oh, it'd be cool if it did this. It'd be cool if it did this. And eventually it made the game that you guys can see right now, which is crazy because you can kind of start to see the future if you play this out to where eventually we're all going to have video games to where we can at any point just tweak the video game to be the exact game that we want. Heck, eventually it's just going to know what we're doing and where we're getting frustrated and like eventually code out iteration two in real time because it's building out the game in 120 seconds. It's adding in iterations every 60 seconds. So like you can see just how quickly we're building out new stuff using this. So once again, Gemini 3 Pro is an absolute beast. And quick side note, if you do want to see how you can actually start building out your own applications that are more advanced, your own AI applications, you're definitely going to want to check out the second video that I have right here on this channel. I just released it too, where we go deep into Google's newest tool called Anti-Gravity. This is my new favorite AI coding editor. You guys are absolutely going to 
gonna love it. So I definitely recommend checking out this video right after you get done watching this one. So, but back to Gemini 3 Pro, got more things to show you guys. All right, so one of the next features I wanna show you is how Google is adding in Gemini 3 Pro inside of Gemini. And I know, you know, how many times can you say Gemini, but basically what you're gonna notice as soon as tomorrow goes live, whenever you click on tools, and you're on the ultra plan, you're going to start to see towards the bottom a new feature called agent mode. And agent mode, it behaves from what I've seen just like the way agents do in OpenAI, except everything is connected to your Google suite. So let me actually just show you a quick video that they shared so you guys can see this in action because this is the moment of AI that I've been waiting for. So what you can see is you can select, hey, I would like to use agent mode, and then you can start to give commands about your inbox. So this is where I think, you know, you know, work is about to just explode. We're about to become so much more efficient now that AI is easily integrated into all of our tools. So you can see we're saying organize my inbox. It's going to look through all of our different tasks and we can say like, yeah, please perform the suggested action on each of these tasks. Also, here's another set of tasks and emails that we need to do. And we can just boom, boom, boom using Google's new interactive UI features. This is something else that's coming out tomorrow that you'll be able to see or today by the time you're watching this. But as you can see, we're basically just able to start to go through and take actions based on you know our emails, potentially our Google Drive. So like this is insane that this is acceptable. And this is, you know, this is going to be available on the ultra plan, which is $200. So, but yeah, I hope you guys saw that and are excited too, because I 100% am going to be uh, throwing 200 bucks at it so I can try it out myself. But that is one of the other really cool features of how you're going to be able to start to use Gemini 3 Pro, not just only in your coding workflows, but also in your real world workflows to do your day-to-day -day job and all of your side hustles and everything else. Super excited to try that out. I'll give more feedback on a video in the future as I get to try agent mode out as soon as it goes live. All right, guys, so now that you got to see Gemini 3 Pro in action, I wanted to give my final verdict and how I'm going to be using this model going forward. So overall, final verdict, I am in love with this model. This is my new go-to model for everything. Coding, working on just day-to-day -day tasks where I need to have an AI help me to do something. And very soon, as soon as the lights get turned on for it and it's public access, I'm going to be buying ultra mode so that I can be using agent mode with Gemini 3 Pro. I'm, I'm so pumped and I will keep you guys posted on that. So that's a wrap for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing Gemini 3 Pro in action and I cannot wait to see in the comments down below what do you think of this new model and are you gonna make the swap? And a few other cool reminders you guys are definitely gonna check out. I just dropped a new video on anti-gravity, which is Google's newest AI developer where you get to try out Gemini 3 Pro completely for free and I definitely recommend you guys checking out that video right after this. Also, if you're interested in building your own AI application in days instead of months, definitely recommend you checking out shipkit.ai where we have a bunch of pre-built real world AI projects. We have weekly coaching calls. We have everything you need to basically launch your own AI applications or to start doing your own AI consulting work. We have over 200, almost 300 members now. Everyone's crushing it and we'd love to see you over there in our community as well. So that's right for this video guys. Definitely check out the other videos. We'd love to see you inside of Shipkit, especially while the Black Friday deal is going on. But enough of that, cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. See ya.